and welcome back to Cooking for Two 101. I'm Christy, this is John. Tonight we're making steak fajitas. And here's my tip for you. This is a flat iron. Flat irons are seriously too big for two people. So what I like to do is cut it in half and save this part for teriyaki steak, which is what we're having tomorrow. And I make my own glaze to put that in and it's so delicious. So what I've done is cut the other half of this flat iron into thin strips. So flat irons, um, oh, I should have showed you that earlier, but the grain run, run, runs in one direction. You want to cut against the grain because if you cut against the grain, it makes it far more tender for when you're eating it, which is key. We're also going to cook this flat iron in our new fun X that we got yesterday. And I'm telling you what, I am so excited. Look at this beauty. Sometimes we like to cook this out on the grill, especially when it's 90 degrees like it is right now, and then slice it afterwards. But this way, you get more seasoning on the meat and better flavor. So now we are gonna make the seasoning. So what I have here is cumin, coriander, cayenne red pepper for a little heat, paprika, garlic salt, oregano, and we like to use uh, pink Himalayan salt. It's absolutely delicious. So we're gonna put this all in the bowl and mix it up. And then we're just gonna sprinkle this on the meat that we cut up and then toss it around. It does have to sit in the fridge for, you know, an hour would be great. Four hours would be better. Overnight would be killer. If you do it overnight though, I suggest that you put it in a zippy bag. Uh, just helps keep your fridge a little cleaner. And who wants to clean your fridge? Not me. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this. You know, actually I'm gonna save a little bit because I wanna put it in my guacamole that I'm making a little bit later. So let's just put just a tiny bit, like really not that much, cause it's two people. How much guacamole do we need? All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle this over the meat, this beautiful flat iron. And give it a little toss. And actually, you could make this uh, in bigger quantities and save it in a cur jar. It stays really well, and uh, then you won't have to do this step. Also a bonus. If you want to know the amounts, uh, basically it's just a palm full of everything. So just pour it in your palm, that's enough. I'm not really into measuring, I'm going to confess. If you don't like cayenne red chili, don't put it in. If you like extra cumin, Dial it up a notch. It's okay. Do it how you like it. All right, we are good to go on this. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a couple hours. I'm gonna do a little slicing magic. And when we come back, we'll finish up our yummy steak fajitas. Okay, now we're gonna prepare the vegetables. We are gonna use uh, yellow peppers, orange peppers, and look at this cool pepper, it's like Multicolor, so fun, I'm excited. I don't really like green peppers. Well, mostly they don't like me. So that's why we're not using those. But if you like them, go ahead, slice them up, eat them, they're delicious. But I don't think so. Anyway, so we're gonna cut all the flesh uh, from around the center of the pepper. And we're gonna slice these into long, thin slices. We wanna take out all the seeds and all of the ribs. Like, I'm gonna cut that out here in a second because it, it just doesn't taste good when it's cooked. It's just, you just don't need it. So get rid of all that. Just like that. Easy peasy, bye, see you later. And we slice these up and they're beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, next we're gonna cut up an onion. So this is a white onion. I cut it in half and I cut both of the ends off. Then you just take this papery outside off. See you later, bye. And then you're gonna slice them <coughs> long ways. So along the grains that are running here because you want them to be half moons. So they're the same shape and size of the peppers. That way they, they cook evenly and they're all done at the same time. Look at how they came out. It's perfect, yay. Next, we're gonna show you how to cook, or actually prepare a jalapeno. If you don't like jalapenos, don't put them in. Doesn't matter. We're gonna cut off the top, we're gonna slice it down the middle, 
And we're gonna take all of these seeds and ribs out. That is where the spicy stuff lays. If you don't want it super spicy, which I don't, this is enough spice for me. Take all this business out of there. Just use your spoon, <clears throat> use your spoon and um, scrape it out just like that. We're gonna slice this into the same shape and basically the same size, maybe a little smaller so it cooks a little a little bit more. These are a little tougher. So just long, thin stripes like that. Add this to our pepper mix. All right. Oh, I see you, Mr. Seed. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna cook these peppers. We are at the stove with all right here we go i'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to our already hot fine axe pan oh my gosh she's beautiful when it starts to smoke like that that means it's hot and ready to go so i'm going to just dump in all these beautiful peppers and onions we just cut up look how pretty that is oh it's going to be so yummy them up a little. I'm going to give them a little salt and pepper. I think our steak and all the other things we're going to put in our fajita is enough seasoning. But but a little salt and pepper is good. So salt and pepper. And we're just going to let them sit there and crisp up. It's going to take about four or five minutes. Stir them occasionally if you don't want them to burn. All right, now that the peppers and onions are in the pan, sizzling away and smelling amazing, we're gonna take this downtime to make some guacamole. So here's how you cut an avocado. You slice it around the equator, not so much the equator, around the long way, like that. Then you take your, this is not the safest way, but it's the way I know. Just slice it in there. Toss that little seed, thanks for coming to the party. Next, you take your knife and you make a little grid in the flesh of the avocado like that. Both sides, because we're going to eat all of it. It's that good. Like that. And you take a big spoon and you just scoop it out into your bowl. Beautiful. What a pretty avocado, too. Yay. Next one. You don't want to make this too in it far in advance because they turn brown and they're still fine to eat just not very pretty next we're going to take a fork or a potato masher or whatever utensil you find useful for this sort of process and smash them up i like my guacamole a little bit chunky so i'm not going to do it all the way like mashed potatoes kind of squished but just like roughly squished or mashed, I guess is more technical term. <laughs> All right, that to me looks good. I like chunky uh, guacamole, there it is. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of that extra seasoning that we uh, saved from our fajitas. We're gonna add a pinch of salt. We're gonna add some black pepper. And it sounds like my peppers need a flip. Oh my gosh, look how pretty they are. Yum! Kidding me? I cannot wait to eat this. All right, then I'm going to add, this is pico de gallo. I had some pico de gallo left. Why chop up another onion and a tomato if I have this in the fridge? It works perfectly. I'm just going to add about a tablespoon in there. I like a little fresh tomato in my guacamole. It's so delicious. And then just because I can, a little dash of garlic salt. It wasn't coming out very well. That wasn't a lot. It was really seriously just a little. To help it to keep from browning now, I'm gonna squeeze in some lime, fresh lime juice. And don't worry, we're gonna use the rest of the lime on our fajitas, because it just tastes so good on when the beef is in the peppers are in there. Oh, it's delicious. 
All right, your guacamole is done. Let's check on our peppers. Oh, they're looking beautiful. You see the little charred bits? Can you see that, honey? Right there, oh, are you kidding me? That's what you want, there's some more. All right, I'm gonna pull these out, and then I'm gonna start the beef. We'll be right back. All right, I've removed the peppers and onions and the jalapeno, oh, I'm so excited. I've turned the pan up, you can see it's starting to smoke. There's still quite a bit of that olive oil I put in in the beginning. And now we're gonna put our seasoned flat iron in there. We want it to sit on the pan. We want it to get that grilled crust from being in this super hot pan. So move it around so that everything is laying on the, the base of the pan. There we go, just like that. Oh, it's getting a little hot in the middle. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. This pan holds its heat so well, it's kind of crazy. My pan's looking a little dry. I'm gonna put some more oil in. I think it's gonna help us out a little bit. Plus it'll release the bond that's building up in there. Oh, that sounds like a party. Look at that. Go. Oh. All right, we're gonna let this sit here for about two, three minutes. We're gonna flip it. Then we're gonna go. Build the rest. Back in a few. All right, the fajita steaks are gone. All right, we're ready to add our peppers back into the meat. It's beautifully brown and very fragrant. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. We're gonna toss this about a bit. And while that mingles and warms the peppers up, we're just gonna put our tortillas right over the top to steam, just like this. We'll turn it down a bit. Now I want it to boil, or burn, sorry. And we're just gonna give it a couple minutes. Be right back. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's turn the oven off. Move this big old beast. Beautiful beast. Over here to our fajita bar. Cause yum. All right, John, I'm gonna make yours first. Do you want cheese? No, you don't want cheese. We had this big discussion about is there cheese on a fajita? And he might be right, he probably is. But I don't want, I like cheese on my fajita. All right, peppers and onions for you. Do you want guacamole, baby? No guacamole? Guacamole is delicious. Do you want pico de gallo? Sour cream? All right. Put on all the toppings that you like, squeeze a little fresh lime, and enjoy your fajitas. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please send us a like. If you want to see more videos about cooking for two, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. So excited. Mmm. Mmm. So tender. Mmm. Nice left.